Hi and welcome to this uh, Unity tutorial about particles with dynamic text. My name is Lilo and uh, I did this tutorial based on a question that I uh, bumped into in Unity Answers. Okay, so let's start. Uh, you can see that I'm working with an uh, autographic uh, camera and in a 2D scene. You can do this same in the 3D scene. It doesn't matter, it's just for the uh, example. Now, uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a particle system. And we're going to tweak it a bit. Uh, I'm going to set the start speed into something uh, smaller. So the particles will be um, slow and uh, easy to see. I'm going to set the shape of the particle system uh, into a sphere. which will be uh, better distributed on the screen. And um, in the render oil, you can change the uh, size to be uh, uh, something, uh, the minimum size to be something a bit bigger than zero, so that the uh, particles will be bigger and we'll uh, see the text better. In here, we also have the material, we'll look at it uh, later. Okay, so let's stop the particles, go back a bit. Now uh, we, I want to add a new camera. Um, this camera uh, is uh, also uh, supposed to be uh, orthographic. This will be the camera that renders the uh, actual text. And we'll name it uh, text camera. We need to change it here to be orthographic. And the next thing we'll do is uh, move it a bit out of the way so it will be easier for us to work. I'll change it a bit so it can be in the middle. Okay. Now here's the particle system, and our text camera is on the other side. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is to create a texture. Here, this is the render texture. This texture will be used in the camera to render the image that the camera sees. So we'll call it uh, text render oil. Okay, now we'll go to the text camera. And inside the text camera, we have um, target uh, texture. And the tar target texture will set to the text render oil. Next thing we'll do is uh, remove the uh, audio listener component or just disable it on the text camera. We already have it on the main camera and we can't have two of them in the same scene. We'll get an, uh, a warning from the Unity system. Now we'll create a uh, canvas. Okay, now the canvas by default uh, is an overlay and uh, we want the render mode of it to be on the camera because we want it just to uh, affect the text camera. So we'll select the text camera here. Now let's add inside the canvas the panel. Select it from the UI, panel. And notice that the panel is covering the entire canvas by default and the uh, color of it is uh, gray which is actually white uh, in uh, half opacity. We'll need to make it black, full opacity. This is how the texture of the uh, materials and the particles work. You need to be uh, black uh, on the transparency and um, white of the non-transparent part. So next thing, we'll need to create the non-transparent parts, which is the text. We've created the text, it's right there on the panel. You can't see it because it's rather small. Let's change it to something else. That's my name there. And you can't see it, not only because the font size is uh, small, but also uh, because the text object is not uh, on the entire panel. So I'll click here. And while holding the Alt, that also sets the position, 
with the rightmost bottom um, option that will stretch the text on the entire panel. Now let's resize the text. Still you can barely see it. That's because the text, well, it's there, but uh, it's in the wrong color. We'll need to set it to white. It's already in uh, full opacity. And let's uh, tweak it a bit. So it will be uh, bold and center it both horizontally and vertically. And perhaps make it a little bit bigger. That's right. Okay, so now we have the text, we have the canvas and the panel, and it's supposed to render it on the text camera. Now let's see that it actually renders it on the text camera. Yes, we can see it on the text camera. And now the next phase is to somehow get it inside the particle system. Now you see the text camera renders the uh, text, supposed to render the text on the text window. Since it's just a texture, you can't see it right now. What we'll do next is we'll create a material where you can see the actual text that is created on the texture. We'll go to the assets, create, and we'll create a new material. We'll name this text material. The next step, give it a shader. Now, the shader we'll need is something that uh, is a particle, particle shader. You can use either the particle or the mobile particle, is what I usually use because I make uh, most of my games to mobile, and the additive. So, particles additive or mobile particles additive. Now, uh, we'll need to set the texture for this material. Right, and now you can see already in the assets uh, folder, you can see that uh, the material has got the right texture and is getting its uh, texture feed directly from the camera. The last thing to do is go to the particle system and set the material of the particle system, which is currently a default particle material. We we'll set it to R own material that we just created. Here in the renderer, material. Surprise, surprise. We've got particles with text. It's not just with text. These particles are also dynamic. With a dynamic text, you can go to the text component, either by script or just for this demonstration, you can change it by hand and set it to uh, some other text. Oh, but look what happened. This is, of course, uh, not by chance. I wrote a long word uh, specifically to demonstrate uh, the problem of the font size. Uh, now you can see you only see the AW of the awesome. Just need to change the font size uh, to make it a little smaller. And slowly you can see the uh, awesome beginning to build. And I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but it says awesome, but it's too small, right? So we go back to the particle system. And remember the uh, uh, particle size that we changed. We can tweak it a bit more here and make it larger. So the awesome. Hi and 